What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a quick PSA returns video, and this is exclusively for a couple patrons that did want to submit some cards, and I did so on their behalf. Uh, there was a comment on my previous video, uh, basically asking if that's something I can help them out with. So, yep, that's something I do uh, for patrons. But yeah, you can reach me at Discord, uh, email, whatever, and I can fill you in on the details. So, we're going to start off with Tony's. Um, returns and huge shout out to him uh he's someone that did submit some pokemon cards but most of it was actually dragon ball super and i feel like his collection is a perfect example of just like collecting what you're passionate about what you really enjoy um which for him is certain dbz characters so we're gonna start this off with let's see what is this the um i'm just gonna make my screen a little bit bigger uh looks like a pre-order um promo uh for the Scarlet Violet era. Very nice. Did get a 10. Uh, however, the second one, I'm not sure what was wrong with this card, but it only got a 7. Uh, I do feel like Japanese is either like 10 or like if the center's not perfect, 9. But then occasionally like a 7. Just like 7 just feels feels real bad. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but at least we did get 110. And now we're moving on to the DBS stuff. I think there's even some Japanese. And... Um, yeah, Tony, when you're viewing this, huge shout out to you. Appreciate you giving me all the information I needed to put in these into the PSA website. For Pokemon cards, I feel like I'm familiar with a lot of the sets and it is such a struggle to use their search functionality. Uh, so for your stuff, since I could largely like just type in what you, what you had the information, it made it a lot easier. So we do got some tens. I think, let's see, so it's a Vegeta, uh, Vegeta Blue, and then, go, what was that, Gogeta? Yep. Kogita, and then just a regular Goku Super Saiyan. Uh, very cool. I am a fan of Dragon Ball, but to be honest, I don't follow that much um, with a lot of like the, the brand new stuff. But uh, who, I mean, who isn't a fan of Dragon Ball to some degree, right? And then we got a blue list, looks like oh, Gogeta because of the, the vest, I guess. And the Vegito has used it as the earrings. Uh, very cool. I thought the blue felt kind of random. Uh, then we got Gohan with Piccolo. So this is obvious. Oh, actually, what is this? Because it looks like adult Gohan, and Piccolo looks very buff. So I don't know when what this is from. And then we got Android 17. I guess 7. I thought 17 was pretty, like, short-lived, but maybe... I Actually, no, he did... I think, feel like he participated in one of those tournaments or something. Um, not even sure how he's alive, but uh, sure. Um... One, one thing I do like is the, actually less so recently, but the Dragon Ball Fighters. I do watch, enjoy watching the tournament. So we got Frieza, a very iconic bad guy. Um, this looks like young Gohan. So maybe this was like the Cell Saga kind of thing. All right, we got Oob, very strange. Like the supposed like reincarnated Boo at the end of, I think it's the very end of Dragon Ball. Very, Dragon Ball Z, very strange. Uh, we got some another blue Vegeta, and this looks like oh no, this is Vegeta as Super Saiyan four. And here we have the Japanese. I'm not even sure. Like, oh, it looks like Dragon Ball Heroes. So I don't know too much about the game, um, but I do appreciate the arts and kind of like the. I think the only challenge with this, as far as the like, collecting goes, is there's only so many characters. So like, obviously, there's so many printings of all, all like the Pokemon, but like. At least, well, there's an absurd amount of Pokemon nowadays, which is, you know, how many how many characters are there? And it's like, we keep needing new forms of Goha, Go, Goku, Vegeta, and then all like the fusions. Like, <laughs> they really have to push, like, just keep making the same characters over and over again. Uh, and I'm sure that's involved in the game or some some in some way. Uh, who are you? Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta again. Looks very similar to what we've seen already. And here we have, uh, it looks like Goku, uh, Vegeta, and then eventually they turn into Gogeta all on one card. Very cool. Yeah, so huge shout out to Tony. Um, yeah, when people have, you know, that kind of thing, it's not just, you know, what the chase card is, but hey, look, I really like this Pokemon. I really like this anime, whatever. And that's what my collection is about. Uh, I love that kind of stuff. And I actually feel like I need to be more like that sometimes. I feel like I'm more of a stereotypical PSA collector kind of thing. Uh, all right, moving on to Ty's collection. Uh, here we have some, a good mix of um, not vintage, but like not modern, like pre 
uh, pandemic boom kind of stuff. So some XY stuff. So we got a cool Mewtwo uh, promo. Very nice. Unfortunately, only got the eights. And then looks like we have a Mew equivalent. Looks like this was part of some kind of uh, XY collection. Uh, this one got a nine. And at this point, like, oh, it's interesting. Um, XY, I don't know what the prices are, but I think it's like, oh, I've had this card and, and it looks pretty good. So I'll submit it. And then it's like, but the tens are just hard to come by. Um, in fact, let me know what your comments. I'm very curious where people are landing in regards to PSA versus CGC. And I guess we'll throw BGS in there, but to be honest, I have very few BGS cards. Uh, here we have a very nice one. The alt art. This is like, man, team up. What a, and I opened all my stuff. I think I sold a lot of it. Ooh, man. This set, this set is so expensive now. And like looking back, like these are the original, not the original alt arts, but I don't know, uh, kind of like the beginning of the modern alt art uh, era. And these arts are just great. And now they're, I feel like they're very, um, you know, the prices reflect that. Very sad about this one, only getting the nine. Um, I do know that there was a version. Okay, so this isn't the promo. So this is the one you actually got from the set. Uh, but I do know they had a decent one as a promo. All right, this is a very nice car. We got the Espeon V Max. This one, oddly enough, is the Hit Infusion Strike, as opposed to all the other evolutions in Evolving Skies, of course. Uh, but this was a very special car because we pulled this on IR. I'm 99% sure that, uh, well, I'm 100% sure we did a break for tie fusion strike, one of the first fusion strike opens that we did, and we did pull this EVV SPI V Max for him, and then later sent it to me back to me for grading, and now we got a 10. So I feel like that's a great success story for, you know, whenever we do breaks. And then we got the SPI V from EV Heroes also nailing the 10. That one I don't think we pulled. Um, Oh, this, I'm curious how this car will age. Tyranitar is, a, I think, um, maybe not top tier popularity, but he's definitely super cool. Just kind of gives like a Tyrannosaurus uh, vibes. Um, I think the, um, the new set, I think it's gonna have a nice promo of him for like the PC ETBs. We got a Slow King coming in at a nine, which is unfortunate, but as far as like all those cards, if you're gonna get a nine, that one, that is fine by us i'm pretty sure here we have uh kind of like interesting sets you know some of the older not old to 2018 but the ultra shiny gx japanese version of hidden fates the japanese stuff very expensive nowadays hidden fates continues to drop which i understand why hidden fates is dropping sometimes i don't understand why certain japanese set has become certain japanese cards are becoming more and more sought after galarian rapidash another one i'm very curious how this pokemon will age has a very cool or you know distinct you know my pony kind of vibe with the colors and stuff like that and it's a unicorn uh so curious how that will do and we have a very unique set for ty he graded the whole eevee uh nagaba um i'm not sure if you have one of the pikachus hopefully you do i, I feel like once when they first came out those things were pretty cheap i bet these evolutions helped them out quite a bit because everyone just wants like a full nagaba set uh, it's like all right get the evolutions and then get the pikachu just to complete it um i i actually purchased some of these second hand uh the prices were not too bad but i'm um, curious how they will age and like the art i feel like this is just for evolution collectors because like is nothing special to me i'm just gonna be super honest uh i mean it's an interesting idea oh man brutal we got all tens except for the umbreon the most important one but yeah the rest of them are tens which i guess is good um but yeah curious what pl people feel about nagaba um I picked them up just because I felt compared to like if I factored in the price of buying a set, sending it a PSA, and then fingers crossed they all get a 10. Like, um, I don't know, during the uh, height of the TikTok, you know, sales, uh, everything's like 30%, 20, 30% off, um, whatever. Like, I imagined, oh, we also have another nine, uh, that these things should be pretty. Uh, people aren't focusing on it, people are just buying new sealed products and. Maybe these are going overlooked. I, I don't know how the prices have evolved since then. Uh, here's a very cool one. Um, I'm also curious how people feel about Master Ball. So we do got uh, Ty is a huge Snorlax fan. So kind of like what we're talking about, Tony definitely applies to Ty as well. Uh, it's like, yeah, for the Master Ball thing, I'm just going to get my uh, my favorites, my Snorlax, and we'll call it quits, especially since we got the 10. 
Um, but like, I don't know, I don't see what the big deal over Master Ball is. It's like they've had many different reverses and this one has like, I'm sure other ones had like the shattered or the cracked glass or whatever. Like, why was that nothing? And now that it's a Master Ball instead, like it's still just a reverse hollow, right? But anyway, like, so I actually have no position in Master Ball, but just because I'm like, what's the big deal? Uh, but some of them seem pretty sought after. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. Uh, we got very nice promo stamp box. Um, I'm curious how many they made because I feel like the prices are not too bad. I mean, not as high as I thought they would be because I assumed that they're, these were pretty hard to get a handle, a hold of. Uh, but also, it is a pretty easy 10. I feel like my percentage is probably like close to like 80, 75% of 10s. Um, so we got the Cramorant, which is pretty cool, but at the end of the day, it is Cramorant, but he went two for two on the Cramorant, but then the one that matters is the Pikachu, and we got another 10, followed by another 10. So very well done. Um, yeah, I think this is a solid hold, just because I feel like it's very unique. Um, and we'll see how it does again I, I feel like the prices are not too crazy i want to say like 300 or something i can't remember that i think that's for one of them maybe it's even for both and then we got some 151 um i i for like um a gift i got like a nice wall uh frame thing where you can put nine cards so i eventually want to put all of the 151 starters um alternate uh, illustrative arts and the Actually, I've got amazingly lucky opening 151 because of the TikTok sales off camera and pulled like two Zards like during the tick whole TikTok thing. And although I think that was the only thing I got from like the, the alt arts of the starters. So like that's as good as it gets, but like it's weird. It's like, oh, I'm still not that close in getting like uh, filling in that picture frame. But here is Ty's Charizard. Boom, congrats on the 10 um you'll see it in another video but man mine got a nine very disappointed but that does mean i can crack it open for that frame and hopefully the other one gets a 10. so there you go and actually ty um you know i think he did like one of the whatnot breaks uh which i feel like especially early like in the very beginning uh, i feel like the prices can be a little high just because it's kind of it's like early access product i guess but uh and it's like you have to make it worth you got to get the hit and boom he got the biggest hit in the set congrats and then it got the 10 even better and to wrap things up we got the etb snorlax only a nine uh and i feel like i imagine this card especially when it's not the pc one um it's like yeah if, if we're looking for the 10 maybe just we'll just pick it up on the secondary market i can't imagine it being too high especially with that not being the pc exclusive one and to wrap up this video we have one more slab it is the birds uh shots of one on a bud i know he wanted uh this card and then i think i think i did ties break first we pulled the birds and then we couldn't get it for fun on a bun um but very nice arts um yeah i feel like this art is quite nice i do feel like the hidden fates promo etb promo is better uh but this one's going to be much harder to pull and um solid and you know the fact that it's only zapdos i think it's odd compared to the other one but that was tag team so nothing you could do about it i am glad that like all the for a set that all the birds are featured in at least there is a card i appreciate that there is a card featuring all three of them uh so yeah i think it's a beautiful card so congrats on getting that 10. um and just one quick last thing it's like uh i was scrolling through actually cleaning up my um google uh like cloud storage just deleting old videos and i saw like that before i would just put like a uh, playmat as the background as opposed to some kind of like sealed product i think i'm gonna go back to that uh, this is the only one i could find really quickly um but i feel like there's just really nice play mats i used to use them as like a mouse pad uh but then you know once a year like i accidentally spill a little coffee but like so when it's just like this 151 one or like the marnie champions path i just or the charizard upc i just grab a new one because i have a bunch of them uh so i'm going to continue to do that for like mouse pads or like just like a the desk surface but i'll just use the kind of like nice not necessarily nicer planets but the more unique ones as like the background um yeah i, I have some cool ones and um so I guess another question is like, if you have like a favorite one that you feel like is super unique, um, let me know. I I ideally something that's not like expensive. I don't want to spend a lot of money on something just like a background play map, but um, there's a lot of cool ones out there. I think like the, on the Pokemon Center website, there was one that's like the Japanese wave 
painting, uh, but has like Pokemon all over it. But like, they think I think that one sold out really quickly, and I'm sure it's like ridiculously priced uh, on secondary market. But um, even if it's like a uh, artist, like someone made it and then printed it i think some of my favorite ones were like the various tag teams it was like the two tag team cards were like fighting each other um and that's like the playmat depicted it so i thought those were really cool hopefully i can find i'm sure they're they are around somewhere so you'll see them featured in the videos um but yeah so more content to come we got another PC returns for my cards as well as one still on its way back uh, we said more recently and um yeah paldean fates coming at the end of january um to be honest i'm not that excited about it but we'll we'll see how it goes in fact i'm kind of like looking forward to be able to take a breather um you know just with uh, a lot of other stuff going on in life right now um, but yeah as always guys thanks for watching if you do want to support the channel just subscribe like and that kind of stuff uh we do have a patreon but uh you know not a lot huge lot of perks primarily just you know helping out with psa submissions right now so uh huge shout out to the patrons and yeah that's it for me today i'm Juana turtle catch y'all next time peace